The Ultima Stile experience is all about embracing the true complexity of owning a classic sports car and using it. I try my best to present everything as readily usable while still retaining the full value and quality. The homologation file, start of the season. And if you get it, I love it. Yes, this time it's rock and roll. How about that motorcycle? A compressor fed, methanol breathing, old engine motorcycle from the 1930s. I found it with a lot of my other friends from the Copenhagen uh, classic car community uh, last weekend when we uh, visited Lars, aka Octane, in his garage, in uh, his uh, secret lair in Copenhagen somewhere. Did I say garage? Well, it's more like a motorcycle studio really. Octane, he builds and customizes motorcycles here. There's the Honda with the four-cylinder flat engine, and the BSA with the parallel twin, and you heard it before, the engine with the side valve V2 engine. And it sounds a bit like uh, a film I've seen with Anthony Hopkins, the world's fastest engine. It's not far-fetched, really. Uh, Octane, he really lives for this. And the engine uh, runs on methanol, and it has a compressor, and it uh, goes really fast. It's a 400cc engine, and he has actually run the Bonneville Nationals in the Speed Week, clocking almost 100 miles per hour. To force feed the engine, he uses a root type blower uh, sucking from the carburetor. Everybody listened in carefully and uh, learned a lot about how to jet uh, an engine like that. Blowers and methanol, that's something you see on dragsters usually. And yes, there's a loose blower onto that tank as well. Everybody uh, brought something to drink or, or to eat and it was a, a wonderful party. A lot of the guys uh, stayed into the night and some uh, of them even slept over on the garage floor. And there's another project, how about that? Four cylinders in line from an old Nimbus engine, an old motorcycle produced in Denmark many years ago. And uh, a couple of times uh, during the evening, uh, we uh, urged uh, Octane to, to start up the engine monster. It uh, oozed uh, methanol on the floor, so we had to uh, repair it a bit. But then, Yes, wonderful. Um, I drove back home at 2 o'clock in the night and uh, the silence was just overwhelming in my quite boring garage. <laughs>